My mother's idea of a dream vacation was to hitch a trailer to the car and drive hundreds of miles a day, seeing as much of the country as we could, spending the night sleeping in the trailer, parked out back of some interstate highway service station, then striking off in the morning and doing it all over again. It was no dream vacation for me. For a little kid, everything from Mount Rushmore to the Anne of Green Gables house in Prince Edward Island all looked the same a window crank, and red vinyl upholstery. Mum loved the idea of running a trailer park for like-minded travelers. And when I was 11, and my father's work as a commercial artist took a downswing, they bought one. The camp was called Green Acres, and it not only had spots to park trailers, but seven cottages and plenty of boats to rent to the fishermen. Moving to this camp, living on a lake, sure beat roaming the country in the back of a station wagon. It seemed, at the time, an idyllic existence. But my father used to say, it had never been his dream. This place, he'd say to me, is my last resort. It would come to be mine, too. By the time I'd leave Green Acres, I would be a different person. <laughs> 